Hi there, this Museum Connect video is split into two parts. We hope you enjoy this first one full of fun facts about ancient Egypt and the mummy mask. But don't forget to look out for part two where you can get creative with your family. Hi, I'm Cameron and I've been a volunteer for Wiltshire Museum for two years and they've asked me to do some research on some of the objects on their Out of Egypt exhibit in, which is in the museum until the end of October 2020. This Museum Connects video is inspired by the Egyptian mummy mask. In part two of this video you can watch artist Emma Keir and find some new ways of being creative while being inspired by the mummy mask. In this part I'll be telling you some more about the mummy masks and where they come from. Egyptian mummy masks, like the one in the Outer Egypt exhibition, were worn by pharaohs and other nobility when they were buried. These burials were very elaborate and they were often buried with all sorts of goods to take with them into the afterlife. These people believed they could keep their status in the afterlife by being buried in this way. To ensure they kept their power and status in the afterlife, which they called the Duat, Egyptians would preserve their body through a process called mummification and wear masks over their faces. Egyptian pharaohs would create masks out of gold, jewels and other precious materials to show their power and how godlike they were, and to show how they triumphed over death. These masks formed the magical and physical protection of the mummies who now carried the Ba, or spirit, to the Dua. From Tutankhamun to lesser known but important Egyptians, their masks have shaped how we see ancient Egypt and their religious beliefs. Even if you have not seen a mummy, a ma a mummy mask in a museum, you will see one in film or television. Egyptian mummy masks, as well as pyramids and hieroglyphics, are now one of the first things people associate with ancient Egypt. Thank you to Cameron for doing all that research and for sharing it with us. If that's got you interested, then look out for part two with artist Emma Kerr. You can find all the video resources from this project on the Wiltshire Museum website if you search for Museum Connect. We'd also like to thank the Arts Council who fund this project through the Wessex Museums Partnership. In fact, we'd all like to know if you've been getting creative and learning at home through the work we're doing here. So share photographs of what you've been up to across our social media.